Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now as you can see, I'm going to concentrate on my Jason Voorhees masks. Now keep in mind, these are not officially licensed masks or any kind of total reproductions. They are in fact some paintball masks that I found very cool looking. And I went ahead and ordered them about six months ago. And I got two other ones here that are very cool. But the color schemes are not accurate, so keep this in mind when you look at these masks. Uh, but they are, in fact, Jason Voorhees masks for Friday the 13th type masks. But they are not uh, actual reproductions from the movies. There is, in fact, one I definitely want to get a hold of. And I think it's from Friday the 13th Part 4, I believe it is. No, it's actually um, Jason X. That's the one. Where he uh, first comes... Uh, when we first come into uh, seeing Jason all chained up on that stand that mask before he actually goes into a um, uh, nanotechnology and end up changing them to Jason X but anyway long story short that mask I would love to get an actual reproduction of that mask is there's something about the way they did the nose and everything it really looks cool the color scheme the smudging the dirt and everything on it absolutely amazing okay but I'd love to get a hold of one of those masks. I know you can get them, but they are pricey, so keep that in mind. Anyway, when we get into this here, uh, just keep in mind that these are not actual reproductions. They are a likeness, okay? So, and also you got to keep in mind they are paintball masks. This one here is not. This is an actual mask from Spirit Halloween that I got like three years ago. I think I got it for like $11. Because I'm big into horror, so I said, eh, let me get that. So I ended up picking that up. And again, I got Michael Myers. I got the 1978 Trick or Treat Studios mask, as well as the 2018. Now, with the Michael Myers mask, I would love to see what they would do. Trick or Treat Studios with his new mask for Halloween Kills, which is set to come out this October. Okay. Uh, it's Clearly, it's burnt and stuff like that because we're stuck in that house fire. I want to see what they do with that. So I'm curious about that. And if it looks good, I'm going to definitely get one of them. But anyway, Spirit Halloween. 11 bucks for this. I don't know how much it's going to cost this year. I know they'll still have them. Uh, they've had them for the last couple of years. This mask in itself, as you can see, it is a three strap. Most um, traditional or authentic ones will have the strap going across the top of the head. My paintball masks don't have that because they are, in fact, paintball masks they're set up a little bit different so keep that in mind and I'll show you that once we get into it I put it on the styrofoam head as you can see the heads are kind of damaged I had two of them that seem to be the way they pack it pack them in uh, Amazon's warehouse or something they must be stepping on them or some shit uh, but anyway they have some creases and some damages to them as you can see coming around the corner we pull it back there see the base of that yeah it's damaged but anyway uh, as long as they do the job, that's the main thing, okay? But I definitely will improve on these mask stands. Uh, I'll probably um, cover them up with maybe a little bit of black or something, black material, just so they look a little better than just your traditional white here. But anyway, let me pull this off the stand here and show you what it looks like up close. And then we'll get into the other one. I'm going to take it off of the head. All right? And the other two, when I do show you them, I won't put them on the turntable because it's just as easy to show you it just by holding it. Okay, now you can see the paint texture here. I happen to like the way they did that. It's got a wood grain feel to it, okay? But it is, as you can see here, it's a heavy plastic mask. As you can see, it says Friday the 13th on it, all right? Pull it in close. It's got the skew number, okay? And still got the price on it. See that? $15 is one. I got it for like 11 at the time. All right. But anyway. Now that's the Jason Voorhees man. And the nose on the um, Jason X one is more boxed. It just looks cool the way they did it. 
I don't know what it is about that mask and the color scheme and everything and with Kane Hodder's eyes turning to look at people and stuff badass okay and that is what she looks like now it's got the three rivets here traditional to your uh, Jason Voorhees masks okay it's got the three strap now I tie it like this because I hang it on the wall that's what I do okay I don't usually wear these unless some, something comes along and say, you need to wear a costume. Then I'm going to put on the Jason Voorhees mask. I got two other ones here I want to show you. If I were to actually wear any of these uh, Jason Voorhees masks, I'd wear the black one. I think it's fucking cool looking. Almost my, reminds me of um, Savini's uh, Jason in the video game where he's on fire, like Jason from Hell or whatever it is. But anyway, he's a very cool looking Jason. He is on fire. All right. Now, as you can see, the markings and everything. Now, what uh, mask or what year this came out of? Uh, most likely, we, we don't really know. Only that um, the much more, how can I say, uh, aficionados based on uh, Friday the 13th will know exactly what these masks are from, what movies they're from. I'm not so much into that. I know there's a bunch of different ones. Like uh, Michael Myers, they are completely different. Now we're going to get into the paintball masks. And you will see that they are quite different, okay? Alright, now that, right there, that's what it looks like. Okay, now as you can see, it is in fact a paintball mask. And you see how I got it strapped up? Because like I said, I hang them on the wall. It's got the four hook. As you can see, it is. A paintball mask but I got it because it was Jason Voorhees you can't go wrong with that now some of these will come with sponges that you put in here so it's comfortable on your face I didn't put them on this one here for some reason but this one does have the bridge on it but this one doesn't have one I think I probably just forgot to put it on but anyway because I wasn't planning on wearing it now the eyes in themselves as you can see they're meshed okay it's made of a hard plastic so keep that in mind and now these masks here, because I don't wear them, they seem like they're a little scrunched in. You just, once you wear them, obviously they'll wear, they'll, they'll take shape. Okay. Now anybody who's really good at uh, noticing what these masks are like, they'll know exactly where the holes go and everything. As you can see, they are pretty much the same when it comes to the holes, except the traditional mask in itself has larger holes. These don't, okay. But they are in fact paintball masks and I think the reason why they do that is if you get splattered with paint, obviously you don't want it to get in your eyes and stuff like that. That's, yeah. It is what it is, but anyway. They are smaller, so that's why they're not a traditional Jason Voorhees mask. Alright, enough about that one. Let's get into my all-time favorite, which is black, okay? This guy here is absolutely badass looking. Look at that. That is cool looking. Okay. Now you can barely see the markings here. Alright. Again, the mesh. It's made of a hard plastic. Protects you. So you don't get splattered too much with the paintballs. Okay. Now I don't do paintball. But I'd, I'd, I'd be curious if I was actually good enough to do it. You know. But as you can see the pad in here. It protects your face and your nose. It is comfortable to wear once you got that pad in there. The other one, as you can see right here, it is a little messy right here. And the way that they glued it, you would have to clean it up because it's got some hard plastic here. But anyway, it is what it is. It is cool looking when you put it on the wall. Okay, this kind of reminds me of the Savini Jason. Very cool looking. Alright. Well, that's it on my Jason Voorhees masks. Okay. Just so you know, <clears throat> this is in fact a brand new channel. All right, um, I'm getting close to taking all the wall masks now. Right now, as you can see, these are in fact half masks. Once I get past those, I'm going to go into my uh, Halloween figures, horror figures. Um, not so much the horror figures. We're going to hold off on them until I get past the actual Halloween uh, decor and stuff like that. Then we'll get into the actual horror figures themselves because I got a bunch of NECA figures 
and some Mezco figures too. So we're going to definitely get into those as well, okay? My phone's going off and I don't know who it is. It's probably spam, but anyway. Bomb, 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 bomb. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is in fact, I will be saying this for the next couple of uh, more videos. Just to keep in mind that this is a brand new channel. I just posted it last week. Uh, I do have maybe two or three subscribers right now. I need more people, okay? If you would be so kind as to actually let everyone know if they're into Halloween and horror. Um, when it comes to that kind of stuff, that's all I'm going to be posting here. I'm going to be heavily concentrating on Halloween, horror. I'm going to be doing a bunch of walkthroughs too because I just posted a video where I actually walked through at homes. It was actually June 26th, I think it was of uh, this year 2021 and they're actually starting to load the stores at at homes uh, with Halloween stuff so I did do a video on that you will be seeing a lot of those I'll be doing some with Walmart um, Target as well as uh, Spirit Halloween a bunch of other places too if I go anywhere special I'll definitely take my camera and we'll do videos on that as well okay but anyway I'll be concentrating on that the Halloween decor, the horror figures, this channel is going to be nothing but horror and Halloween. So if you're into that kind of stuff, let everyone know that this is the channel to come to because I am definitely going to be putting a bunch of videos up, okay? But this is my Jason Voorhees collection so far. And we're going to concentrate on the other masks. I do have a few paintball masks that are very cool looking. They're not horror related, but they can be. Um... And one of them is actually a British patriotic paint job on it. And then I have another one that's an actual United States patriotic uh, type um, paint job. And I got a straight black one. They're all made from the same mold of masks, but they are very cool looking masks. Right, I will show you those. And then we're going to get into the Plague Doctor. I got like four masks. I will literally put on the outfit and wear the mask and show you that in a separate video. So look forward to all that. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because I will be pushing out a bunch of videos. You guys have yourselves a good day.